Hello and welcome to WASP 3D Feature Tutorial. In this tutorial, users will learn about the various actions that can be performed through the object pool window. We can access the object pool by pressing the F3 key. Icon 1 shows the type of object. By clicking on the eye icon, we can hide or unhide the object. The object can be set to render off by double clicking the eye icon. Multiple adjacent objects can be selected by pressing the Shift key. To select the non adjacent objects, simply press the Control key. Actions can be performed on multiple selected objects. Pressing Ctrl D, deselects the objects. To access the trigger-based context menu, simply click on the trigger icon. We shall cover about trigger menu more in the WASP I tutorials. Next, the active key icon denotes that the object, is animated. We can drag and drop the key icon, to copy and paste animation to another object. Next icon is the transformation icon. We can drag and drop the icon on the other object to copy and paste transformation values. The objects in the scene can be sorted on basis of name, material, type, class etc. by clicking on the column header. Also, we can type and search the objects by its name, material applied, class or maybe combination. Render column shows type of rendering applied on an object. For example, if an object is rendered on a render texture, it will show render texture 1, back buffer. The tag column, shows tag values of object assigned in parameters pool. Right click on object to copy object, its animation, transformation or trigger values. Then, select another object and right-click to paste the values to it. Again, on the object, right-click and select Copy option. Press Shift key to get the dialog box. Users can select an object from viewport. 
By holding Shift key, we can get the copy dialog box. Right-clicking on selected objects, gives option to hide or unhide, select applied material, zoom into object etc. Switch to orthogonal view to zoom in. Press F2, to rename the object. We can select multiple objects and right-click to rename them together. Now, by pressing F3, we can access the Metadata tab. The preferred server allows user, to play the current template on a specific server, when playlist is opened as a program. The server numbers are assigned in Sting client preferences. Double click on the empty area to capture current frame as a thumbnail for template. Type in a number to set z-order. This is a template z-order. Users can also click on Attach Help Document button, to attach a PDF file for extended support. <laughs> 